Damn. Pima County Sheriff's Department responded to a 911 call involving a suspicious person. Yeah, he looks a little suspicious, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Are you mad? Uh, do you feel like wolves go out for a Get a but does he have the power of anime and God on his side? I have the power of God and anime on my side. The caller who works at the hotel called police and said, hey, there's a f***ing dude out here waving his sword around, which in itself isn't illegal, but is it unsafe? Possibly. So, you know, it's worth the police going over there and being like, hey, buddy, why you, uh, why are you doing some swords out here? This isn't your garage. This isn't your parents' garage, even. Why are you doing swords out here? I work over here at the day and I just have customers no further links. I already said no further links. Waving around a sword and screaming. He's outside, like just right outside of his room, just like screaming, waving a sword. And we weren't gonna kick him out. We just wanted him to stop, but he wasn't listening to us. This is an instance where the dispatcher and the caller are being incredibly kind. When they could have said there's a completely out of his mind weave flailing around with a katana. He's out here just trying to level up his sword skill. Why people gotta bring down motherfuckers just trying to level up their sword skill? And to give you an idea of what the caller is talking about, here's a little bit of footage of the man that makes all white people collectively embarrassed. He's just yelling and swinging his katana around and playing swords. What this non-meta character build doesn't realize is he just triggered the false fight. He was causing way too much aggro. Now after deputies arrive on scene, he actually sheaths his sword because he is a sword master and there's no need to scare the hose. He does continue to hold on to his sword as deputies approach and tell him, hey, don't do that. Like put it, like put it down, like lay it on the ground or, yeah. We, just, we got a call us. Saying that you're screaming, you're waving the, the sword and stuff. What's that? I swear I'm not screaming. No, that's fine. I mean, I didn't hear your scream when I pulled up. That's just what the call is. Everyone knows a true student of the blade cannot unsheath his sword unless he's going to use it. Because when I remove the, the blade, I keep in my boot from its sheath. I can't return it until it has spilled blood. So instead of complying, he decides to start something with the officers that he probably can't finish. That's a pattern in this video. Listen to me, Holmes. Now you listen to me, dog. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 hold on. Let's hear him out. It could be something important. What's going on? Yes, what's going on, dude? I'm trying to achieve something. Huh? I'm trying to achieve greatness in the time. It's just not allowed in the United States. What has this country come to when you can't even master the blade in your own goddamn hotel parking lot? Sure. I thought this was America. Huh? Isn't this America? I'm sorry, I thought this was America. I love this next part because of how cool and patient the officer is. Well, I mean... We got people calling. I mean, I'm not telling you not to achieve that. The poor deputy had to reach deep, deep down into his soul to try and de-escalate this situation with the, the pawn shop Shogun here. And as the video goes on, you start to see that the suspect actually does live by the code, but it's also far too insane to even understand it. What I'm saying is- I'm a hell of responsible. Unless somebody comes at me and is willing to kill me, I'm not willing to kill them. And that's how it should be. I agree hundred percent. But what we're trying to understand but if they all is... they to kill me, and if they don't accept that they're willing to kill me, then they don't No, I mean, that's not the case, man. Like I said, we're here to see what's going on. All right? It's not every day that somebody's out at a, at a hotel waving a, I'm you know, a katana. You know what I mean? You're what? I'm related to die on this system. Okay. So, so, so what are you doing? I'm practicing my way with the katana so I can become better at all right, dude's made it clear that he does take his combat training seriously. When you were partying, I studied the blade. Also, you may have noticed this line. I'm related to Dionysus. So this dude is actually related to the Greek god of insanity? Would have never guessed. Dionysus is the god of winemaking, orchards and fruit, vegetation, fertility, festivity, insanity, ritual, madness, religious ecstasy, and theater. And probably some other stupid <coughs> shit that white women with crystals would <coughs> about with. But just like a lot of videos that we break down around here, what are we at? This is number 942 right now. 942 videos? Uh, they usually go from 1 to 100 very <coughs> quickly. Are you not able to do that in, in the comfort of your room? Yeah, leave it there, dude. Don't can do it. it I'm telling you right now. Put it down. Don't, don't. <laughs> I guess he did not have the power of anime and God on his side after. And here's another angle of our little fruit ninja. Don't can do it. <sighs> Most sane American channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Particularly.